serving up the 1957 Bel Air custom kit. Coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, if you loved last week's expose of the 1957 Chevy, you will like this week's because we've got the custom version of this kit. And now, let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. All right, all right, all right. Here we've got our 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air Street Machine Kit by AMT Ertl from 1998. And as you can see, it's got many of the 1998 features, like these Camaro-style wheels. And now, let's open up the box on this baby and check it out. So to begin with, we have this nice instruction sheet. And again, here's what I wrote. Bought at Walmart for $3.97 on January 31st, 2000. Now, Walmart used to have these great deals on model kits, but they eventually stopped carrying them because people were not buying them from Walmart. But luckily I was able to get one of these for $4 Canadian, which is just unheard of. Imagine that in the US, it must be like $2.25 or something back in that era. Uh, now you're looking at a good $30 to $40 for a model like this, but it is well worth it and we're going to show you why. Now you get these advanced modeling tips right at the beginning, telling you how to put on decals and trim your waist stuff and the whole deal. Then they give you this really cool engine block which shares uh, the mold from the stock version of this model kit. They give you a paint chart, and I've labeled what they all are. There's Chevrolet Engine Orange, Aluminum on your transmission, Gloss Black for your starter, etc, etc. Then here on the custom engine, they give you a more modern air cleaner, a four-barrel Holly, some extra exhaust manifolds, and they also give you a wire set in here. You have to drill this out into your distributor, but you can actually put the wires in the correct firing order as shown on this chart here. They also give you a fully detailed undercarriage with suspension, which you could adapt into making it into a working suspension, steerable. They give you a different interior from the stock version, as well as a different fuel cell and some different exhaust pipe. The dashboard and interior have a different style of steering wheel, custom, although the rest of it is quite stock. And they also give you this really wicked looking rear axle with independent front su or rear suspension. The body is much the same as in the stock kit, giving you a pleated interior top. <sighs> Sorry for rustling. <laughs> There's your interior going together with the front fender skirts there, inner aprons, whatever. And then there's those directional tires, the Goodyear Eagles, popular back in the 90s. They also give you the entire steering column, as you can see here, which jags back into the, the tie rod ends, battery, and then the front going together and opening trunk with hood hinges, as well as optional decals in this kit. So now, let's go see how this looks in plastic. Starting with the body. And as you can see, there's a couple little sinkholes here. That's for from the trunk hinges that are underneath. There's our pleated interior. Just like the real thing, you get sun visors and a dome light which was very unique at the time. This model kit came out and it was designed to compete with the offerings that were coming out from Ravel and Monogram. They upped their game, so AMT followed suit and created these really beautiful examples. There is the rear axle with a fuel cell, the steering wheel, and our exhaust pipes, followed by this amazing frame and this piece here goes behind the back seat to block out the trunk. 
There's our bench seat, and as you can see, it's got these side rails and the back, as well as two little license plates in there. Next up is the inner fender apron and the wheel backs. Followed by the interior panels and the rear back seat. And as you can see, they give you a lot of great detail. It's very crisp on here. You can paint your door handle separately and the armrest, which is a lot easier than trying to paint down in a tub. The under pan here is different from the stock version. They give you this gigantic Chevrolet emblem under here. The rear wheels are tubbed out slightly. And there it is from the top. There's our big, er, uh, hoses for the radiator. Kind of forgot what they were for a minute. And then our rear axle assembly with the independent shock absorbers. And there's our tree with the dashboard and firewall, radiator shroud, front grille insert, the steering column, and of course our engine block, the automatic transmission on there. Then our underhood items and steering. These are big vents that came in from the front of the hood. And very nice detail. Proper cross braces and everything and proper double panned reinforced metal piece under there. It's typical of GM. Then we've got another bag here with our window glass in it. They actually give you a ridge on here with two dots for location to go underneath in your body. Or I should say the body of the car. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, <laughs> there's our chrome. Let's try to move it through all the letters here. You can see these nice sports car type rims from the 1990s as well as this redesigned air cleaner, solid chrome. And here's our um, engine wires as well as the tires on here. And you can see they've got big and small type tires. And our red reflective taillight lenses. And last but not least, this is the decal sheet. This gives you these nice little pinstriped flames in these little frames as well as some of the underhood stickers and details that would be common in the 57 Chevy. And there's a Road King license plate and a plate that says My 57. And that, sports fans, brings us back to the conclusion of our review of the 57 Chevy Bel Air Street Machine. We here at Monster Hobbies hoped that you enjoyed this video of the 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air Custom Kit. We really do. <laughs> All right. Now, if you would like to subscribe to this channel, please click here. And don't forget to check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca to see other model car kits. And check out these three videos so that you can see what else I opened on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? See you next time!